taking a igloo, 45 liter, 48 quart cooler, some 1x6 pine, and we're going to go ahead and build a patio deck cooler box. First thing we need to do is get some music going. Alright, with the tunes going, let's get this project started. First thing I'm going to do is cut off the handles. Nice and clean here. And then I'm also going to cut off this section of the, uh, the cooler where I can use. So I'm going to cut the legs at 35 and a quarter, and we add the three quarter inch trim, and it's going to be 36. First thing I'm going to do is cut four pieces of pine at 35 and a quarter. here, three inches there, put a straight edge on it. So basically I'm cutting one piece that's going to be exactly three inches and one that's a little bit less than two and a half and I'm going to put those together to make a L-shaped leg. <laughs> There's a table saw right over there. This is going to be one of the few cheats that I use this video. And if you have a table saw at home, I recommend using yours as well. Now take the smaller of the two boards, put it in a vise if you have one, or find some other way to secure it. Definitely want to glue this joint. If you're hand nailing this, you're going to want to start your nails first. And there we have an L-shaped leg. And if you have access to a nail gun, why not use it? Either way is fine, as long as you get the job done. On this step, everybody's cooler might be different. So what I want you to do is measure from the workbench to the top of the cooler, and I've got 12 and a quarter. Write that down, and then I want you to add three quarters of an inch to that. So 12 and a quarter plus three quarters is 13. So for the cooler box, I'm going to need 13 inches of wood going this way. I'm using pine. I'm going to cut three pieces. So 13 divided by 3 is going to be 4.33 inches, which is the same as 4 and 5 sixteenths. All right, so we just determined that these three boards need to be 4 and 5 sixteenths. Now to determine the length, go ahead, measure the cooler. I've got 24 inches. The first thing you need to do is add an inch and a half. So that's going to be 25 and a half. Now I want you to add a quarter inch to that. 25 and a half plus quarter is 25 and three quarters. So we're going to cut six pieces at four and five sixteenths by 25 and three quarters. I'm starting off on the top one, making sure that it is even with the top of the legs. And another thing I want to point out is that I've got the, the three inch 
part of the leg facing down. Not like this, but like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing to the other side. So what you wanna do now is glue and nail or glue and screw one of the off cuts from these pieces so that the three quarters dimension is this way. Now it's time to do a little test. I want you to grab a scrap piece of three quarter inch pine rest it on top of that ledger. Go ahead, slide your cooler in like so, and you should have roughly three quarters of an inch overhanging right here, where the cooler is six up higher than that. Because we're gonna put a piece of pine like this that's gonna make it flush. Hey, Jimmy, how's it going? Good. Hot one today, huh? Oh, it is. Look at that. Listen to that. Nothing like that. Sharing the Coke. Oh, so good. Cheers. Right to you. Nothing like a Coke on a hot day, huh? Oh, ice cold. Yeah. Right. So I'm, I'm making a cooler box for a patio deck. Nice. I think we should put some Coke in there, huh? Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. And then give it to you. That's a better idea. <laughs> I like that. Right Sweet. Cool. Well, thanks. Yep. Have a good day, Jimmy. I'm off. See ya. Now back to work. To determine the length of the sides, all we have to do is measure the widest point of the cooler. And I've got 14, and I'm going to add a quarter inch, so I'm going to cut those at 14 and a quarter. Six pieces at 4 and 5 sixteenths by 14 and a quarter. I'm going to go ahead and glue and screw these in from the top down. Now this bottom one, I'm going to have to notch out, so slide it down, mark it up, then take an off cut, use that to mark the other dimension, cut them out something like that. Now I'm going to cut three more pieces of pine at 14 and a quarter. They drop in this way. All right, I'm going to put one in the middle. And one at each end. Not going to use glue. I'm just going to put screws. So now your cooler should drop in and be a pretty snug fit. And you should have three quarters of an inch left here. And once again, that is going to be for trim that goes around the outside, like so. I just cut two pieces at four and a quarter, just like these ones. And I put a pocket screw on the far end of each end. And I'm gonna go ahead and nail those down like so. Just making sure the pocket screws are down and out. out so I can clean up the glue. Now I'm going to cut two pieces that are 35 and an eighth. So there we go. We got the base done. We have the trim that's flush with the top of the cooler box. And the next thing we need to do is build the cover for the cooler lid. I'm going to start by putting a straight edge on top of this and measuring from the trim to that. And I've got 
two inches. So all the pieces for the lid are gonna be two inches wide. And I'm gonna start with the same length here, 14 and a quarter, two pieces at two by 14 and a quarter. With those set in place, flush with the inside of the box, I'm gonna measure from outside to outside and I get 25 and three quarters. So I'm gonna cut two pieces of pine by two inches and 25 and three quarters. With those in place, everything looking good, I can go ahead and glue and nail this frame together. Cutting these three boards, putting them on the lid frame, making this side flush. So what I'm gonna do is just take a pencil and scribe under there, and I'm gonna cut one board down. All right, so I cut that down to four and three quarters, and I'm gonna put that one in the middle. So if you have any Gorilla Glue or anything like that, something that's gonna to stick to plastic better than wood glue, use it. And I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna center it and using shorter screws so they don't go through the top. set in place and it'll find its home. The next thing we're gonna do is put hinges on the back side here. These are non-mortising hinges and I'm just gonna line them up with the existing plastic hinge. Put this back over. On the back side, the hinge is in place. I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna mark where the barrel part of this hinge is like so. Then when I turn it up, it's gonna tell me where to line that up to attach these screws right here. All right, a little trick with hinges. Just put one screw in. <laughs> then check, and if everything lines up good, go ahead and put the other one in, and if it doesn't, Make your adjustments. This lined up pretty good. Pretty much roughed out. Some things we can do. Uh, add a lower shelf, which I'm going to do. I'm going to take a CNC router and carve out Coca-Cola on the top. All right, for the shelf, I've got two ledgers, four spacers, and the three pieces that are gonna go here, which happen to be exactly the same dimensions as the three pieces that made up the lid. So what I'm gonna do is put these in place, put my spacer blocks back here. That's gonna put the ledger up at the height that I want. four of those out on the bandsaw using this one as a pattern.
Dude, this looks sweet. Check it out. No way, let's do it. Oh, yeah. Sweet. This is so awesome. You can't go sweep it up. Cheers. Cheers to that. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Click here to subscribe. Click there for more videos. That's what I'm talking about.